All right, today's the day. Let's get some primer down on the car. Okay, so as you can see from the windshield, I've uh, uh, started doing a little bit of masking before I started the camera up here. Uh, I did a little bit of that last night just to get ready. Uh, the weather is pretty cool today, so I need to wait for it to warm up a bit. Uh, it's morning right now, but I think by this afternoon it should warm up enough. So I'm hoping to get all the prep done, all the masking done, uh, and then we'll start spraying some primer. Let's get at it. Okay, so I've got everything masked off. I've just got to, uh, I'm gonna give everything a good cleaning here and then I'm gonna uh, get set up to start spraying, so. Okay, so I'm all set up and I'm ready to uh, start. I'm gonna be laying down the epoxy primer first on uh, the inside of a few panels as well as the uh, body of the car, so. Let's get this mixed up and get started. That's uh, the first coat, that's probably two coats of uh, epoxy primer on there, so I'm just going to let that set up now. It laid down really nice. Had a bit of an issue when I did the uh, body, so I changed some things up, and I will show you, uh, it's just a rookie mistake I think, and I'll, I'll show you the issue I had and uh, how I was able to fix it. So. Okay, so here's a quick look after uh, the epoxy coating has been put on. Uh, it laid down pretty well. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'm going to uh, lay down the uh, high fill primer, which I will show you what I'm gonna use for that. Okay, so as I mentioned, I had a bit of a problem uh, when I was spraying the uh, epoxy primer onto the uh, body of the car. Uh, and basically what was happening was it was like, it was like the material was too thick. Um, I do have a 2.3 mil nozzle on the gun but it is just a cheap gun. And I didn't have any issue when I sprayed it on the uh, interior of the car. It went down real nice and uh, uh, flat and I didn't have this hesitation with the gun, but basically it was kind of like it was too thick and it was going <laughs> So I was getting a lot of orange peel and texture in the paint and it just wasn't spraying very smoothly. Uh, so I thought maybe the gun was dirty or something. So I took the gun all apart and cleaned it up uh, and basically, I think what the issue was is I had this little filter that came with the gun in there. Uh, let's see if I can get that clear on the camera here. And I think uh, they're fairly standard um, when you've got a, they just kind of come with the guns. And uh, anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure that that was what the problem was. So I pulled the filter out after doing a little bit of research and uh, uh, when I did the uh, the rest of the panels, it sprayed uh, real nice and and smooth, and I wasn't getting that uh, hesitation with the gun. So I think the material is just too thick to run those filters. So uh, if I'm wrong, leave a message in the comments, and uh, I'll know for next time. But uh, as far as I can tell, that seemed to have been the problem. 
So as far as the uh, high build primer that I'm going to use, I'm using uh, this uh, slick stand, slick sand from Evercoat, and uh, I'm gonna mix that up. And let's get down onto the car. Okay, so that's it. I've got uh, epoxy primer and uh, high build primer on uh, all the body panels. So I'm gonna leave these uh, in here for overnight anyways, just let them settle down, set up before I uh, do anything else with them. Uh, but that'll be the end of this episode. So I'm really relieved to have this done. It's kind of a major step in the body works. Uh, unfortunately, we still gotta do some block sanding to get it nice and smooth before we're gonna put the paint down. But uh, I'm really happy with how it's coming along and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, moving on to something else. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week on Analog Generation.